Hi, good afternoon. Thank you for ordering the color kit that can, you can take home. I'll show you how to do a basic 101 color retouch for the base area on the scalp to cover those unwanted white hairs, okay? So in your little color kit that we'll send home, you'll have two bags that you'll mix together. I'll show you how to do that. One is your color, one is your developer. Next, you'll have your brush. We'll also have a set of gloves for you. And after you have a set of gloves, we'll have you a disposable color cape. When you're finished, you can throw it away. So what we can do is take this, put it on. We have two little things really easy to tie. Tie around the back of the neck. And then when you're done, just dispose it and throw it away. So how we're going to mix up our colors, get a bowl at home. Now what's real important here is to get all of the color. We will be adding extra grams of your customized color. I would just rip it open, take the brush, take it into your bowl at home, a little cereal bowl or a little paper bowl, and just pour it out. You probably can take it all out. We'll have extra color and extra grams in there with your purchase. I want to thank you so much. I'm sorry that we can't be doing it personally for you. Then take your developer. I would just rip the baggie and then pour the baggie into the color. Now, what's real important about this, and I'll tell you the timing and show you some basic 101 101 color applications is to mix this color really, really hard that it's like a pudding. You have to really beat it because you want the color molecules to be dispersed. And so as you mix it, you just don't want to leave it like this. So you really got to get in there and put a little bit of power to it and really push against the bottom. You want to make it like almost like a pudding. And you can see how nice it blends up. This Italian color is wonderful because it has vegetable liposomes, which actually is the delivery system that gives your hair conditioning. That's what's so wonderful about the Italian color. The integrity of the hair is amazing. 0.89%, not that you need to know that, but that's why the color and the conditioning of the hair is amazing in the tone and the reflection. But since we're just doing the white hair at the base, it took pretty quick. So we'll just go and we'll start real easy how you prep the hair. Just a gentle shampoo, don't scrub the scalp. Don't irritate it, don't brush it, and just give a nice basic shampoo just to clarify the hairspray off of it or the gels, and no conditioner. You wanna have the hair as porous as possible, okay? And basically, all you wanna apply is to the base area. So once we get started, you dip your color brush in, not too much, this is the key. When you apply the color, you wanna make sure that you don't have a ton of it hanging over the brush. So just dip it in real gentle, pull the hair back. Now this might be for your husband, your boyfriend, your maybe your daughter, son, and just pull the hair back around the hairline. Real easy, dip it in, and then just go around the hairline first. See how nice and easy? You don't wanna put it, get it in the eyes. So just pull it back and just go around the hairline first. I like to pull it away from the face and I'll turn around for her. And I'm so thankful for my wife to be a lovely model for us. I hardly ever really get a chance to do her color. Always the colleagues and the stylist in the salon do it. So I'm very grateful. So then you can see how I pull it up around the ears, pull it up, pull up. So number one is all of the hairline. The number one is all of the hairline. So go all the way around the hairline. If you notice in the bowl, look how I put the color on the color and I slide it up against the bowl. So it's on the brush. It's not hanging on the brush and then go all the way back to the bottom of the nape. So, that is the right side. Pretty good application, okay? Not bad. And then pull the ear down and work that out a little bit. It's okay if you get a little bit on the ear, you'll go back around with a damp towel and just not rub it,
but just gently blot the color off. Then we'll go around the left side. Okay, you'll be in your kitchen or somewhere. So just tell her to bend her head a little bit and then lift the hair up and away. Whoops, you see here, up and away. Put a towel underneath also. Put a towel underneath your cape and then you push your head this way forward a bit and just apply it down the neckline. So really you're just following the hairline. Being nice and neat, well, it'll take you a little time. You'll get the rhythm and you'll get the, the feel of it. But may, basically one of the rule of thumbs is you don't want to go over, over top of the white hair. And there'll be a line between, you'll see here. Then we're going to go straight down the center. Now, this is an interesting concept. As you see the, the white hair, that's called a line of demarcation. So just go to the right side and just apply it to the right side. Push your head forward, part the hair down, straight down, and then part it on the side and then do the right side. I like to do this because it gives me much more control. And then follow it right down to the back of the vertical where this where the vertical spine is. We call that the vertical line of 90 that separates the left half of the head from the right half of the head. So that's the vertical line of 90. Then come back up and then we'll go down the opposite side. You can see that I'm not pushing it overlapping onto the hair that's already existing in the color. Basically, you want to apply it only to the hair that is the regrowth. We call that the base. So just go real gentle, and now we've parted that off. Pretty cool, pretty easy. Okay, so we separated the left from the right. Now, kind of go up at the top. The crown's back here, go right to the top, and just part it, and put your finger right behind the ear, and just come right down behind the ear and separate the hair. Once you separate that hair, all you do is pull the hair back again, and just kind of put the color on at the base. Push, separate the vertical from the front to the back. And just, I like to do one side first. You can see I've done the back side. Now that separated the hair, do the front side. Okay, so we'll just go right down and that's all done. And then we'll do exactly the same thing on the other side. Vertical line right behind the ear, separate the front from the back. And then just take a little bit of this and We'll just separate the back again, I'm done. And then we'll do the front. Now, moving into the, the front quadrants of the hair, we call them planes. You have planes and profiles. So we just basically did the vertical separating the left from the right. Then we also did the vertical separating the back from the front. So now what we're gonna do, this is where it gets a little intricate, okay? A little bit interesting, okay? Take just a little bit. Now you got your color all around. Mostly the hair is white around the face first. So we're gonna start. If the hair, let me just say this. If the hair is, give you a little color information. If you're doing your color at home, if the hair is a level six, and darker, you can see it's heavy pigments. You'll wanna start that color probably in the back. If the hair is seven and up, seven, eight, nine, ten, she's like a level eight, nine, this eight, nine. I will start her in the front. Why? Because the lighter, if you put the darker on the front first, she might get too dark. But if you put the lighter color on the front, it takes a longer time to oxidize and to contribute the pigment into the scalp area. So let's just say we're going to give you, we'll start you in the back first, maybe to get a little work, a little practice, okay? So then by the time you're in the front, you'll have the, you'll have the partings down. A quarter inch, a quarter inch parting, one fourth, one fourth, separate it, Watch how we do this, separate it and put it on the bottom first, then hit the top. Separate it, hit it on the bottom first, then the top. Separate it, I do diagonals. I like to go on the side of the bra, hit the bottom, then do the top. You can see how I just kind of twist my wrist, real easy. Part it, bottom, 
top, okay? So I'm gonna do a few of these sections and then I'll show you after I get to the front. So let's just do it one more time. Bottom of the base, then we pull and do the top separation. Okay, we'll do it one more time. So we'll take a quarter inch, one fourth parting. We'll do the bottom and then we'll do the top. And that kind of separates for you. So I'm gonna proceed through the right back plane, left back plane, then I'll go into the Since front. Since we've taken a break, we just went right down the back plane. Now we're gonna start into the left back plane. I said a fourth inch sectioning. Let me correct myself. Let's do about an eighth. So here's about a fourth. I would say cut that in half. So gentle. So we did the base, the bottom, and then push the top up. So part it, bottom, push the top up. And then I'm gonna proceed through with one eighth partings. Remember, not too much color on the brush. Watch, if you look, look how little, just a little, and then push it up. Watch how nice, one eighth parting, get the base. You'll see that hair that's been regrowth. You can see the, the regrowth and the color pigmentation where that line is, then separate it. So put it on on the bottom, part it, hold the hair while you're working it, put it on the bottom and then work the top. And then I'll get back to you on the top front profiles. All right, so we're gonna go into the top right curvature. That's up in the top and the right here. So I'm gonna work toward separating the hair one eighth, push it away, push it down and then away. So a diagonal parting from the top, which is the center of the head, away from the arc bevel. So the bottom and then hold the hair away for control. Okay, so I wanna keep your bowl in front of you so you're not working behind yourself. So down, just make sure that the color on the brush is not way too much because you'll overlap it. And you wanna just stay down a little bit because during the heat and the processing, which is gonna go 40 minutes, the hair color will swell, the hair color molecules. So the heat will expand them. So you can see how I just separate it, okay? Take a little, I take a little parting first with the color, put the color on, and then part it, put the color on, push it away. So part it, taking long, long 45s diagonal, put the color on diagonal while you're holding it, then go the opposite direction. Take another long 45 section. The reason why I like to go 45 is because you, you're able to apply the color in a longer width. Instead of going horizontal, you may miss something on the front hairline. So when I go diagonal, when I take this diagonal section and lift it up, I see that I get everything all the way up. Now I can check it horizontal, but I'm doing a diagonal, vertical, horizontal, diagonal 45. So 45 diagonal gives you the width of the cutting or the coloring plane. And then you're able to apply it and see it right in front of you. Push your head away. Now that I'm getting around the hairline, which I hit in the very beginning, and then push it away. Now I'm traveling right up into the hairline. You can see how that's been oxidizing. And then push away. Very meticulous. You'll get the partings, you'll get the rhythm of it. And just take your time. It should take you about maybe 15 minutes. You know, just doing it the first time. The stylist in the chair, in the salon or trained to do it in about 10 minutes. But even if it's done, even if it's done in 15 minutes, then when you're totally finished, that's when you will start your timer for 40 minutes. And then you'll let it sit on the base. Now, if you notice, I went back through there and just kind of checked 
and see if I missed anything. Then you can go horizontal and separate it and see if I missed anything. Interesting? So you can double check your work so that you can make sure that all of those unwanted white hair, the unpigmented hair is covered. So if you wanna go back through horizontal and give it a little check, that's cool. All right, so you can check your work, all right? All right, now that we did that, just kind of open it up. You want to keep it open like this so that the, this is an oxygenated color line. So the oxygen makes it process. So let's go to the right, I'm sorry, to the left top curvature now. So let's come back here. Head back, I like to start at the arc bevel and then separate it, the base. So let's do it again. Let's turn her around so I can get this long section all right, little one-eighth partings, push it away. Take a little color, put it on the base, push it away. And you can kind of get your little flow. One-eighth part. So just pull it up, apex the hair, pull it away, get it out of your way, put it on the base, push it away. and continue down to the temple area. So as we move, just work kind of fast and efficient base. See what we have, I'll just give you a little info. Base, shaft, ends. We wanna keep the color off of the shaft and off of the ends. That's why I'm trying to control when I'm applying it the hair away so it doesn't fall into the base area. So if you see, I hold it into a little apex, push it away, and I like these long sections. Okay, and then we'll move right on up, right into the baseline, and you'll see that the base looks a little darker because it's been sitting on there a little bit longer because you applied it first in your first application and that's where the hair starts to oxidize. Don't get nervous. It's just oxidation. The color will look darker at first until you wash it off and then it will be exactly the level that we've taken it from our computers that we've custom blended these uh, tones together so that you have a beautiful tone and reflection and leave it now, so all finished, 40 minutes. Now, get a wet towel, and then you'll wanna go around and wipe off anything like her ear, if you got a little mess anywhere. So let's go back through horizontal and check it. Looks pretty good. We're also gonna mix you a little more base color than you have in the salon, just because your application may not be as neat and as clean as the professional in as the stylist puts it on but we'll make sure that we give you appropriate grams just to have a little extra in your take home color kit so you can see i'm just going through a little horizontal just to check it now leave it open and let it oxidize so that's how you have it you can see keep the hair off of the scalp, kind of like lift it up and get it away from its, from its base area so that the color can breathe and kind of just leave it open. And we'll let that process now for 40 minutes. After 40 minutes, she may want to go in the shower and blast it off herself and shampoo it and then run a little conditioner. Now I would advise, since the ends and the shaft don't have color, I would go as cold as you can stand it so that the ends, the cuticle on these ends, or if you have a little conditioner right now, put a little conditioner on the ends so that when this base color rinses off, if you're in a blonde, that you don't get any color tones or pigments washing through your existing highlights. So maybe a little conditioner put on the ends that's what I'm gonna do. And then I'll blast it off after 40 minutes with cold as she can stand it. 
and give her a gentle shampoo and then a little pH. She'll probably use Gush, which has unique um, eumectrins and emollients. It has the botanical infused, which gives the hair extra healing properties and moisturizing properties. And then the pH mask is three point, um, excuse me, 4.75 that closes the cuticle that locks the color in. So if you have any mask, maybe put the mask on the ends in the shaft right now, that'll close the cuticle or a conditioner that you have at home and then rinse it off rapidly in the sink or in the shower with cold water, cold as you can stand it. Can't wait to hear your results. Looking forward to seeing your hair and taking care of your hair care needs in the salon. Thank you so much. And thank you for your business. Have a beautiful Easter. It's been truly a blessing today. Thank you.